welcome all to the course titled basics of modern control systems i am somiranjan sahu uh, i am with the faculty of department of electrical engineering at iit kanpur and i am associated with the control and automation group this is a basic course that we offer in iit kanpur for mtech and uh, phd students as well as for uh, undergraduate students who are interested so given that varied background of students actually take up this course and also as the main suggest for the course Uh, we will be covering the basics of certain topics that one would see in as uh, far as continuous and linear systems and non-linear systems are considered. So this course basically has three modules, or rather, I should say, there are three parts to the course. So the first part. Uh, is basically certain concepts of linear algebra so linear algebra is a vast area from where we'll be seeing only a few things that would be necessary for us or might or will be useful when we see into linear systems then we'll go to the next broad area which is linear systems so here we'll see uh, Something related to the modeling of the systems in terms of differential equations and the algebraic equations, and something known as the state space equation, where we introduce some virtual variables known as the states, so that a higher order differential equation can be represented as a set of virtual differential equations along with the algebraic component. And we'll also see some transformations that help in. Either designing controllers or designing estimators or observers, or another industrial utility of the system. We also see certain concepts of controllability and observability and stability associated with these linear systems. And for the end of this topic, we will be seeing controller design and observer design. Once we are through with linear systems, next we will cover the Topic non-linear systems. So here we'll again touch upon the other basics. So we'll see how non-linear systems on what grounds vary from linear systems, and uh, due to which certain analysis that we have for linear systems might not be true for non-linear systems. We'll see something on the phase plane analysis. This is also applicable to uh, linear systems as well. That we'll see here. Next we'll see. Uh, How non-linear systems can be approximated with linear system models around certain operating points or equilibrium points. Then we will also see how to analyze the stability of these equilibrium points for the non-linear systems, uh, either using the techniques that we saw from linear systems because we can linearize them, if we can linearize them, or we will use The notion of stability from, uh, as given by the Lyapunov theorems. And please note that uh, here we may talk of stability, we are specifically talking of internal stability of the system. So we will get to know what these terms actually mean. So the topics that we will cover under linear algebra would be uh, certain. Mathematical structures, like group, ring, field, vector spaces, and with relation to vector spaces. 
we'll see the ideas of linear independence, linear combination, span basis, dimension. subspace linear transformations invariance change of basis and we'll end this with In linear systems, we will be seeing the definitions, some samples. linear time invariant and linear time varying systems the state space representation Then we'll be seeing the concepts of stability, controllability, observability. We will see some canonical forms controller and state observer designs and a specific optimal control structure known as the linear quantity regulator. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, in the linear algebra part, we will be also seeing the notions of eigenvalues and eigenvectors and a very popular result known as the Kalyan-Minton theorem and Jordan forms. So we will see these for square matrices, square real matrices. And the nonlinear systems, we will again see some definitions where we will also see what are the properties that some properties that nonlinear systems possess which linear systems do not. Some examples of nonlinear systems. Then we'll go into the topic which is known as the phase plane analysis. We'll mostly see this for systems which have two dimensional and uh, 
we first start with linear systems and then we will move on to nonlinear systems in this case. Then we will see is it possible to represent a nonlinear system as a linear system. And if yes, then what is the possible way to this linear system representation? It's a good approximation of the nonlinear system. And now because we have this approximation, will the ideas of stability and uh, the right, yeah, so will the ideas of stability and other properties of linear systems flow in and be useful for the non linear systems in this case? Okay, we'll also. Explore the notion of stability and when I say stability, you are basically meaning something known as internal stability. Uh, please note that when we talk of nonlinear systems, we also see state space representations. So, let me include that as well. We'll see the state space between the phase plane axis linearization. Then internal stability is is basically defined basically the definition of internal stability in the sense of the upper and certain stability theorems so we have no theorem for stability and we'll also see some controller design where we use the ideas from the upper theorem to design controllers Okay. Uh, if possible, we'll also cover the Point Carabin theorem and Ben Dixon criterion, which are related to periodic orbits. In fact, somewhere in between, we will also uh, see the topics of uh, basically topics on continuity and. Lipschitz continuity and its usefulness in the uniqueness and existence of solutions for the differential equations that define the dynamic systems that we are actually considering. If you have uh, any doubts, you can post your questions in the comments section of this uh, of the corresponding lecture videos and I will try to resolve them. If you notice any error or any mistakes that I made during my lectures, it would be helpful if you can point them out so that I can correct them. Thank you. So in the next lecture, I will mention the references that are supposed to be, that I will be following mostly, but a lot of references for this, but I will mention the references that I will be using mostly. Thank you.